By the mid-2030s, 92 trains in Singapore will be upgraded with systems to detect possible faults earlier and make breakdowns less likely. These trains are older models currently serving the north-south and east-west lines. The first retrofitted train is now being tested before re-entering into passenger service next year. Alexandra Anand with more. Doors are closing. These train doors are taking unusually long to shut. And while it may seem a minor anomaly, it's been instantly logged by this new system. It's one that monitors 47 vital signs of the train, from its power and air conditioning to its door controls and brake functions. You can't see them, but there are nearly 500 sensors on this train alone, all measuring tiny variables, temperature, vibration, pressure, each fed into an early warning system designed to detect faults before they occur. Think of it as a continuous health check. Once an anomaly is detected, early maintenance is carried out. Previously, this was done only after components failed or on an ad hoc basis, like when a train reaches its midlife. These timely alerts enhance rail reliability and deliver more comfortable journeys for everyone. Over the next six months, the train will undergo testing and commissioning to validate the robustness of the new features in enhancing operational performance, safety and reliability. And for the first time, the upgrades will also give engineers a real-time look at the condition of critical parts in the bogey. That's the train's undercarriage, which houses its suspension systems, gearboxes, wheels and axles. The new systems will help to keep trains running smoothly, even as the rail network grows. SMRT says it's aiming to launch the retrofitted train next June on the north-south and east-west lines. It will then extend the upgrades to 91 other 4th, 5th and 6th generation trains by the mid-2030s.